Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Welcome to Immune Base by Steve Ford, aka Karen Ford on the Twitters. Immune Base is on itch.io, and I will put a link down below in the description, of course. This is uh, in-dev version 0.38, released on 8-15-2017. I am recording this on the 22nd of August, so this is about a week old, this version. But as far as I know, it is the latest and greatest and has a bunch of content for us to play around with because I did try this game like a year ago or so and it just didn't have enough content for an episode or a series but i think i think we might be able to get two or three episodes out of this it's pretty fun i haven't played much but uh, essentially what you do is you are a cat living on the moon you have to survive there for x number of days or i guess you could just go forever if you want but um yeah let's do it let's start up a new game and here's our space kitty like i said you are a cat and we're gonna go with the name of jonesy Jonesy is the name of Ripley's cat, the famous cat that survived the movie Alien with Ripley and made it all, all the way back to Earth, but never made it to the second movie because he was sent to the moon on a normal mission. <laughs> you never knew what happened to Jonesy, did you? Well, we're going to find out Jonesy's fate right here. And Jonesy was the ginger tomcat, by the way, and you can choose different kitty cats. So we're going to go with the ginger tom and a green helmet and all right jonesy you ready for takeoff buddy because here we go captain jonesy this is mission control prepare for takeoff on three two one go oh wait a second by the way your mission is to land on the planet xbj-063 and survive for 11 days good luck we'll see you later there he goes off we go and wow that was a quick trip wasn't it here we are we're on the moon so we got to get to work right away one of the first things we need jonesy to do is go grab up these crates there should be two of them and this is going to give us our starting equipment workbench airlock and well i guess while we're here let's clean up that mess grab that ice which we can turn into water and we can drink it eventually oh there's the other crate let's go snatch that up right next to this metal grab some scrap metal and grab our second crate all right now space kitty jonesy you are prepared to build your first base and we're going to do so with the airlock first let's put the airlock we want to save space for future building so how about right here looks good and while that's being built up let's go grab some fruits and you know what jonesy i hope you're a vegan because i don't think there's any aliens to eat up here there's no like mises or anything uh, let's grab that airlock, plop it down right there. I'm sorry, not the airlock, the uh, air filter. This is the airlock. So this is the way to get in and out from the outside. And this door here is to get in to the rest of the base. So you don't lose any oxygen, apparently. Now, we don't have any oxygen in here right now because we have no way to generate it. And that's what the biofuel generator is for. So I'm going to put that right there. And we need to go get some fuel. It is a biofuel generator, and it uses plant matter as fuel. So let's go grab some of this grass right here. And we'll go toss that in the biofuel generator and get it cranking up. Bam! Get in there. Two pieces. And now we can get inside a base and grab some of that good O2. Here it comes. Oh, baby. And also suit power. Because you lose both when you're out in the world. Actually, I don't think the suit power goes down unless you're using your flashlight. I'm not entirely positive about that. But your EVA suit only has a limited supply of oxygen. So you do have to return to the base and uh, re-up it once in a while. But as far as I know, we can we can make um, like a portable oxygen tank or something. With this, the workbench. Let's put that down. And you know what? Let's get inside. So we're not losing oxygen, and we can use this right through the wall. We can make some plant slop to eat. Uh, and we are kind of hungry, but you know what? I'm going to save the plant matter for the biofuel generator, because it goes really fast. It's burning through those plants quick, huh? Um, let's go and get... What do we need? We need a shovel, is what we need. So in order to make a shovel, we need two scrap metal. Let's go find some more scrap metal. There's got to be some around here somewhere. There's a whole bunch of detritus on this planet. And it's our job as Space Kitty to clean it up and also survive here. So we're going to get some lovely foods here like this. Uh, well, let's eat that right now. There we go. Back up to normal hunger. And let's grab some of the scrap metal. 
That's enough to make the shovel, and then we can use a shovel to get some stones. Oh, oh, that was nice. Electronics and a component in that. This stuff we can't pick up yet without the proper tool. And we can't get the rocks without a um, without a shovel, which we're going to need. We need rocks to make a smelter. So we can turn... Oh, man. I gotta get rid of this thing, too, but we can't get rid of that rock without a jackhammer or something. I'm not really sure. Alright, let's get back in here, fill up our suit, and let's make a shovel. And while we're in here, let's make some H2O, potable water from the ice, and we can make a root stew. Ooh, sounds delicious. 100% vegan, but we're not going to eat it yet. We're going to hang on to that because we're not that hungry yet. All right, well, let's go. We got we got work to do before the sun goes down. There is a day-night cycle. Let's throw some more fuel in there. And now, where's my shovel? There's my shovel way over there. Um, oh, man, it's getting dark. Let's collect some of these stones. Press F to turn on your flashlight. And I'm pretty sure we can get the ore now. And look at our inventory. It's so full already. Uh, let's find some more rocks so we can make the smelter. We gotta find the small rocks, not the big rocks. Sooner or later, we can make a um, we can make a, con a cargo container that we can dump some of the stuff off. But we need to make smelter first. That is a priority, and we need four rocks in order to do so. Uh, gosh, lots of ore, but not enough rocks. Little mini rocks. We need the mini rocks. Oh, some scrap metal. That's good. Suit power is going down because of the flashlight, so we're going to have to return and get more power. All right, let's go. We have only two plant matter left for the biofuel generator. What we're going to want to do as a priority... It, oh, we can't get around that way. Can't, oh, there goes our HUD because we're out of power. So you lose the flashlight and the heads-up display, <laughs> so you don't know what your condition is. <laughs> All right, we're in. Whew. Suit power is being refilled, as is the oxygen. So it looks like we take the, the oxygen from the base and fill up the EVA suit. And then as we're, when we're away from the base, the, uh, the air filter replenishes the supply in the base, which is kind of cool, I guess. All right, let's eat that pumpkin. Oh, I should have eaten the root stew. But that's okay, we'll wait. Um, all right, now, we cannot make... Nah, well, let's make some water. Oh, inventory's full. You know what, let's go outside. Close that, and we're just going to have to drop some stuff, and that's the Q key. Drop those roots, drop the component, game saved. Oh, geez, wrong thing. I guess you have to select it in the hotbar first. Uh, drop the electronics, drop the root seeds, we don't, drop it. Um, let's eat that stew, clear up that space. Oh, we're full, full belly. I'm glad Jones is a vegan. Oh, don't smack it, put some stuff in it. Because otherwise, he'd starve and this game would be over really quickly. Now, we need a couple more stones. Can we get two stones out of this one? Excellent. All right. Let's get back to the base. Power it back up, because I'm sure the power is gone. It's gone out. Yes, it has. Crank it up. Two plants at a time. Get on one inside there. And now, we can make the smelter, which is four scrap, four rocks... And here we go. And this will, um, we can refine raw ore into metal sheets with this guy. Pretty cool stuff. Let's put it, it does require power. So I wonder if we can put it over here. Now, does it have to be attached to the base or can it just be attached to the biofuel generator? We're going to find out. Looks like, oh, it's got smoke coming out of the smokestack. Great, we're going to pollute uh, the moon too. Might as well. We are going to need... That's two sheets right there. How many sheets do we need for cargo? No, we want this right here. Solar panel. So we don't have to rely on the biofuel generator. We got two components and two sheets. I think we only have one component. We're going to have to go get more. Um, all right, let's... Oh, I didn't want those sheets, but... All right, fine, we'll take them. I'm going to drop them right here. And we have only one component, huh? So we gotta go dig up some, uh, gotta go dig up some metal and see if we can find another component to make a solar panel. Although, oh, we got one, we got one. I was just about to say, although I'm pretty sure we can make an electronic component 
on the workbench. So we don't necessarily have to find one. You'd rather find one, right? Because it is free. But I think we can actually craft that thing up. All right, let's get back quickly. Throw some more plants in that thing. And now let's pick this up. That and that. And we can make... Let's go inside and do this. Grab that oxygen. Precious O2 for you, Jonesy. And we're going to craft a solar panel. Oh, yeah. That's one solar panel. Let's get some water cranking up, too. And we'll make this uh, delicious root stew. And we're very hungry. And it's raining out at night. Oh, cool. I love it. <laughs> That's cool. Let's turn on the lights. And let's get a solar panel out. That looks like a good place right there. It's going to block that door, but we just got to put it there for now. We can move it later. It is attached, and it should provide power. Can I shut this thing off? I'm going to let that... Well, it's not going to work tonight because the sun's down, but um, in the daylight, it should generate power. I'm not sure how much power, but I guess we're going to find out. All right, what does it take to make a cargo container here? We need two sheets and two metal scrap. Can't reach my smelter from here, so we're going to have to go outside. Let's drop that. Oh, and the seed. So apparently we can do some farming eventually, which is what the seeds are for, is my guess. But we're going to want a couple of these sheets. And I, th I wonder if that's like using more power. It could be. Ram that sheet. And that sheet. Uh-oh! Something's busted. we got to go fix it. Yeah, if something like this goes red, you got to get in there and just whack it with a wrench. And it's all good. Okay, I think the sun's coming up. Oh, now we can make wire, which is useful for a whole bunch of things. But let's make the cargo container. I think that seems to make sense. And we can start putting this stuff in there. And you can make this uh, electronic circuit board, but we need, we need the uh, copper wire. All right, no problem. All right, how are we looking here? Healthy, normal. It's the 11th day, uh, third day out of 11, and yeah, we're looking pretty good. And now we're going to find out if that solar panel is enough to power this entire base. And let's see. Biofuel generator just ran out of fuel. It is. It's working. The fan's turning. And it's turning a lot slower than, um, than the biofuel generator cranks it. I should turn off my light. But it's working. And that's the important thing. All right, let's scoop this stuff up. Let's put it inside this container. Click on that and just transfer everything over that we don't want to carry around with us. Although I think we can make some more of this um, root pie. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> root stew. <laughs> All right, awesome. We've got two root stews. And yeah, we're looking great. We are hungry right now. So why don't we eat? Can I eat a root? No. I'm going to eat a fruit right now and save the root stew for when we're really hungry. And now we just have to go out and do more collection. Let's get a full... A base is losing oxygen. We'll fix that. Hit it with a shovel. Good job, Jonesy. I think we want this right here, the jackhammer. We need two sheets and some of that, uh, some of that wire. So let's do that right now. Let's get a couple of sheets going. I think we need... How many sheets do we need for the wire? I forget. I'm just going to crank them all up and see what happens. Uh-oh, we don't have a power over here? Oh, yeah, so this is actually draining power from the base. So the fan is not getting any power. Or the air filter, rather. So I think maybe what we might need is another solar panel. Which means we need two more of these components. These uh, circuit boards. All right, I say we keep making more of these plates. The metal plates. We're going to need those... Um, in order to craft most of the things we're after, like more solar panels, we're going to need these circuit boards, we're going to need wire, so pretty much everything requires metal sheets. Now what is this thing? RTG generates power through radioactive decay. Sounds awesome! And those green plates, I think we get out of here, right? Open up. Yes, nuclear fuel. Oh gosh, what is that? Okay, I don't know what that thing is. Have not encountered the green goo yet. So we'll, uh, we'll just forget about that. Let's just forget you ever saw it. Let's go get some oxygen. 
and I think we'll head to the west and see what we can find. All right, that's enough O2 for now. Got some scrap metal here. Maybe we can just get some electronics right from these rather than having to make our own. Because again, it is kind of costly. So if we get a freebie like that one, awesome. And crank up the light. What do we get? More scrap. All right, oxygen's looking okay. Soup power is going to start getting drained now. But you know what? Let's grab this chow. And we can make a bunch of stews. And I guess that's it. Oh, wait a minute. We got a little bit more metal. We're going to need the plant matter to get through the night because the solar panels are not going to be working tonight. And power is just about half. Don't get too greedy there, Jonesy. Oh, perfect. All right. Do east. Should get you home, kitty cat. Do east. You do have a map, though, just in case you get lost. I'm not sure if the map works without power, though. So maybe it doesn't. Oh, here we go. We're in. Get inside. There's no lights. So let's power up, uh, power up the biofuel generator. There we go. You can turn your light off now. And the base does have lights. That's nice. Okay. So, yeah, let's, uh, I can't reach that cargo from here. You can actually put this cargo crate inside a, uh, a module, like a habitat module, if you have the right... Well, you gotta make it first, obviously. Ooh, sun's up already. Lovely. So, I'm not gonna put any more plant matter in there. We'll get solar power here in a moment. And it looks like more pumpkins grew over here. Space pumpkins. That's cool. I'm wondering if we can transplant some of these... Um, not ready to collect yet. Well, no, that's the fruit, but I want to... Curious if we can move the, the, the stems, you know, the, the bush part, and bring it somewhere else and make a farm. Although we do have seeds, and we'll get to farming eventually. We're just not at that point yet. All right, let's, uh, let's get back inside. I wish I could shut this thing off so it doesn't waste that fuel in there during the day, but it doesn't look like I can. Okay, what do we got here? We can make another solar panel, or... Oh, there goes the biofuel power. Oxygen tank to carry with us, that's cool. Nav light, floodlight, a rain collector, and here's all the habitat modules that we can make. This one requires four sheets. Another airlock. Greenhouse, grow your own food supply. Ooh, that could be nice. We need rocks. And it looks like a cable of some sort. Let's make some of this wire. Seems kind of useful. And a battery. Stores power for your base modules. Oh! Oh, cool. Uh, sure. Let's just make one of those. And see what we can do with it. I have never got this far before. Here, let's go all the way around and put it right here for now, I guess. It is connected to the base. We're going to lose access to that door, but the stuff can be moved very easily, so it's not really that big of a deal. All right. Well, that should store up power. Oh, there it is. It's got a little meter down on the bottom. It is storing power. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, we can make a jackhammer. Yeah. Break up large stuff. Let's just make the jackhammer. Jonesy wants more power tools. It'll be fun. May not be the most useful item right now, but... <laughs> It sure is going to be fun destroying all these rocks around the base. Oh, look at him go. Go, Jonesy. Drill that stone. Nice. And let's get this guy out of the way, too. Doesn't look like there's any durability or anything to this thing. Oh, getting very hungry. It's a lot of work. Oh, there's the uh, radioactive ore. Ooh, eat a root stew. You deserve it, buddy. Yeah, radioactive ore is in the giant boulders. Oh, fantastic. So then we can make that radioactive uh, generator thing. Yeah, those uh, radioactive ores are super rare. I've destroyed maybe six, seven boulders, and I've only gotten the one so far. Yeah, all oh, right. Well, oh well, let's head back. Oxygen's getting super low. Okay, we gotta get back now. We gotta get back. Hopefully that battery that's back at the base is powering the base so we can get some oxygen as soon as we get in. Sweet. Get in there, Jonesy. Open the door. We're in. Okay. Getting reoxygenated. Awesome. But the battery's gonna go down, and it's going down super fast, isn't it? 
Yeah, so the biofuel generator is now supplying power to the base as well as the, uh, the battery. So we're storing power right now in the battery. Awesome. I think we might need another solar panel, to be honest. Let's do it. There we go. Crank that up. Let's go outside. And put it next to the other one. Oh, and I can't get through here. Oh, I can get through there. Okay, sweet. And I wonder if we put it here, if it'll be connected. One way to find out. All right. Uh, what do we have here? Let's store that away. We can't use it at the moment. So put that away. Let's eat um, fruit. Back up to normal hunger. Day five. Day five. Jonesy survived five days out of 11 so far. I think this is a good place to call it quits with episode number one. Let me know what you guys think of this uh, this video, this game, and leave a like and a comment down below, and we'll continue if you want to see more. If not, we'll just call it a day and uh, move on to something else. But I'd like to see it through, at least to the day, uh, the 11th day, and we'll get Jonesy through um, so he can survive and then maybe head back home and hook up with Ripley. Oh, actually, Ripley's... Oh, okay, never mind. You know what? No spoilers. Never mind. Ripley's fine, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, so uh, we'll see you then. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm getting very hungry. It's a lot of work. Oh, there's the uh, radioactive ore. Ooh, eat a root stew. You deserve it, buddy. Yeah, radioactive ore is in the giant boulders. All oh, fantastic.